This channel is dedicated to solving Sudoku without marking candidates. I don't take any notes while solving them. In fact, I use a pen. You can learn patterns and techniques to solve puzzles without candidates at sudokuprimer.com. Find lots of other Sudoku information out there too, like Sudoku myths and Sudoku history. This is puzzle number 97 from Sudoku to Go, volume 145. How did I solve this puzzle? Well, when I got stuck and couldn't find another number, I had to use three different techniques. A unique and subtle thing about triplets, together with some twins and double column elimination. And that gave me the clues needed to find the next number. I'll let you know when I get to that point so that you can pause the video if you'd like to challenge yourself and see if you can find it. But first, let's uh, put in easy numbers, fours. There's a one here, one, one, one ghost ones. There's ghost ones here because of this wall pattern right there. So you got a one, ghost ones, one, one. And right off the bat, we've got, with this wall pattern again, we got a three here, ghost threes, a four here, and four here. We have three, four here. So these are three, four twins. We can't solve them now, but we'll use them in a minute. And with twos, and we've got a wall pattern here and a three here, ghost threes there and a three there, so that's a three. All right, we've got an eight here um, and an eight here, so ghost eights there, eight. Ghost eights, that makes that an eight. Then we've got a, a wall pattern here with a nine here, ghost nines there, and nine there. So that's makes that a nine. And we've got a nine there. Let's look at this column here. We're missing one, six, seven, one, six, and seven. Got a six and a seven there, so that's a one. And at this point, we are pretty stuck. I couldn't find another number until I used those three techniques I talked about. A unique and subtle thing about triplets a set of twins, and double column elimination. And uh, if you want to pause the video right now and see if you can find that, I'll give you one clue. These are the set of twins I'm talking about, the three, four twins. But I found a set of triplets and used a unique thing about triplets and then double column elimination to find the next number. So go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, I'll just continue. Well, the triplets are in this row right here. They're a little harder to see because we only got two numbers so far. But let's see what's missing in this cell right here. Remember we have three, four twins here. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two, five, six. Here we're missing five and six in this column. So that's five, six. And let's look at this cell right here. Two, six, two and six, two, five, six, five, six, two, six. So there are the triplets that I found. We can't solve those, but one unique, interesting thing about these triplets, if you look at this box with just the three, four twins, the five can either go here, 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 or here. But with the triplets, two, five, six triplets here, we know that's a two or a six. So the five is constrained to one of these two cells. All right, 
So those are the triplets I'm talking about. And the unique thing about the triplets is the five has to be here or here. It can't be here or here. So now let's use double column elimination. We've got five here, five here. So one of these is a five. We've got six and six. So one of these is a six. So that makes that a seven. And with that seven, we can fill in the rest of the sevens. And before I do that, let me just point that out, uh, how I found that. So I got two, five, six triplets here with a five constrained to one of these two cells, because that's a two or a six. So five, 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 six, with the three, four twins, six, six, six. So these are five, six twins. Okay. So now we got seven, 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 uh, seven, 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 seven there, seven there, and I think we've got them all now. No, we got one more here. Seven there. All right, now, um, let's see. Got an eight right there. And there's five and six left here. With that five, we can solve those. All right, now with that, we can solve the five, six twins we've just found. And now we have three and six missing in this row. We can solve those. We have four, five here. We can't solve those yet. Nine, 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 so that's a nine. All right, we're missing two and six from this column, so we can solve those. We're missing one, six, and nine here. One and six there, so that's a nine. And then we've got nine, nine, nine. So that's a nine right there. All right. And now we've got a three here, a three here. So we have ghost threes there. So we can solve the three and four twins we found. And we got four, four, four. And we got a four here, four here, so that's a four. This four allows us to solve the four, five twins we have here. And with this five, we know this is a five because the fives are constrained to, to row seven here. Ghost fives, five, five, and there's five there. So we can fill that five in. All right. And with that five, we can put in a two there and a two there. All right, we only got one number missing here, three. And uh, let's see, what are we missing here? One, three, eight. One, three, and eight. So three, three, so that's a three. Eight, one, all right, now we've got an eight missing there, and five and six missing here, so we still have five and six missing there, let's fill this one in, that's a one, what are missing here, five, eight, so, all 
right, let's see, one and six missing there. That's a one. Let's see what we're missing here. Three, five, three, five, eight. Okay, we got a five, six there. We can fill those in. Okay, five, eight, so that's a three. Five, eight. And we're missing one, three, five here. One, three, and five. And that's it. And we're done. So not only did we need three different techniques on this one, but we also needed a unique thing about the triplets that we found, one of the three techniques, in order to uh, determine where the five went in, uh, in box seven here. So this one was fairly tricky, but uh, we were able to get it. I hope you're able to um, uh, figure it out yourself. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you were able to find that yourself. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.